it's Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Friday, July 5th. Okay, so welcome to the new moon in Cancer day. We have the new moon in Cancer popping off at 14 degrees at 6.58 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So the majority of today is going to be a buildup in intensity, in pressure on our heart space, on our head space, in our emotional realm, in order to put us at a quote unquote breakdown point, preparing us for the breakthrough point. There is a whole astro forecast over this particular event. The July energy forecast touches on this event as well. Your zodiac forecast is there for your downloading pleasure to get a little bit of a sneak peek on where this is actually impacting your life first and foremost. There is a moon guide. There is a cancer season e-guide that of course is going to help align you with these particular energies really get down to the nitty gritty on what this new moon in cancer is going to mean for you. So all of that being said, there are seven different aspects here today. Six of them are going to involve the moon. The moon is in her rulership in this cancer energy, pushing us inward to feel all of the feels, to be hypersensitive to the energy, to the world around us, to illuminate what isn't working, what hasn't been working, what we no longer want to deal with, what we no longer want to experience, and therefore come up with a framework, an alternative of what we would prefer instead. That is the whole point of a new moon. We sit in the darkness, we sit in the funk, we examine again where doors need to be slammed on the past in order for us to be able to open up new doors to the future. The moon in Cancer energy going to make a very positive interaction with Mercury, ruler of the mental plane in Leo energy, the heart and soul of the zodiac. So the moon is our heart space, Mercury is our head space, they're getting along. They're working with each other. They're understanding what it is that we have to do to nurture and nourish ourselves back to a place of health and wellness, back to a place of safety and security, especially in our emotional realm. And the mercurial energy being in Leo energy is trying to show us where it is that we have to be bold, brave, courageous enough to not only align with the big ideas, the big dreams, the big visions that we're now having for our futuristic selves, but also put us in a situation to be real and raw, authentic within ourselves to understand what we need to do, what we need to pursue, what we need to change. Our heart and our head working together to break us away from the past and make us pivot to start building towards our future. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer in Aries energy. This is definitely going to be an aha moment on what it is that we need. This new version of self, this new identity, this rebranding that we're going through by anchoring in the higher version of self is now offering us an opportunity to see ourselves from a different set of eyes, a different perspective, a different light. So we're not being hard on ourselves, but we do need to be a little bit vulnerable, a little bit more sensitive to our wants, needs, and desires. This is going to put us in a situation to understand where there's been a huge growth, a huge amount of healing within ourselves. And now what this new version of self wants, needs, and desires in order to keep this new foundation strong, in order to keep this new identity in a placement of power. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings in this Gemini energy. So this is going to bring a optimistic perspective. This is going to bring an element of confidence back. This is going to push us in a situation where, again, we're pulling away from being so fixated on the past where we're actually able to anchor into the present moment to now contemplate the choices, the options, the opportunities that we now have available to us to move on, to new move forward, especially pushing the boundaries of our comfort zone. Again, typically speaking, the cancer energy wants us to be focused on the past, wants us to hold on to the past for dear life. The Jupiter energy is promoting growth. And of course, you can't grow in your comfort zone. It does require you to kind of boss up and step out into the world a little bit. The Gemini energy is really pressurizing that mental plane, the options, the opportunities that we currently have. There's a lot of pros and cons that we have to kind of whittle away at, really illuminate before we're going to feel confident enough to start building towards something new. Now that takes place at 9.29 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
we sit in that energy until about 12 30 p.m and this is where things start getting a little bit bumpy we have the moon in this cancer energy getting into the boxing ring squaring off creating tension with the north node in aries energy so the north node is trying to get us on the right path trying to get us on this solo quest, this individual mission, if you will. We wanna grow, we wanna make some changes, we wanna transform, but it's at this particular juncture that the moon in Cancer is like, no, we don't wanna think about the future right now. We just had this epiphany, again, the earlier interaction um, with the moon and Jupiter was kind of illuminating the growth spurt, illuminating the options and the opportunities to move on and move forward. And even though we were feeling pretty good about those particular choices, the fear, the doubt, the insecurity starts kicking in. We have this square to illuminate where it is that we are essentially retreating from the, let's call it options and opportunities that were excitable to us just a few hours ago. We're clamming up, if you will. Again, a square is a tension and a conflict point in order for a growth to actually take place. So we have to sit in the fears, the doubts, the insecurities. We have to sit in the funk. We have to sit in that negative narrative in order to close the chapter on that part of ourselves and build ourselves up in a much better way. The moon is then going to semi-square, creating a little bit of tension and conflict with Uranus, the great awakener in Taurus energy. So again, this is an element where we are actually creating more confusion than there needs to be, because again, we're trying to come up with other situations, circumstances, and scenarios that's going to promote us staying where it is that we're at. This is where the state of paralysis kicks in because again, every single time we reach a new growth point, those dark force energies in our egoic programming kick in, tell us that it's not okay. It's not safe to grow. It's not okay to move on, that there's more challenges that are unfamiliar and that we can't really predict if we move out into new territory, but we know what we're going to get if we continue to do the same old, same old, even if it isn't favorable to our situation, to our circumstance, to our growth. So here, it's almost like we're coming up with excuses, trying to justify not moving on, not moving forward. We have Mars, the god of war, rolling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger, in Taurus energy, sextiling, beautiful interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, who is retrograde, in Pisces energy. So this is going to ground us out. It's going to kind of push us into a situation where we need to be present. We need to be present. We need to be calm. We need to be cool. We need to be collected in order for us to not get washed away with this emotional wave crashing upon us due to the moon in Cancer. And instead, let those waves cleanse us from the fears, the doubts, the insecurities that are currently preventing us from even thinking about making a move, moving on, growing, healing into our future selves. Now, this is also going to remind us that consistency is needed in order for us to actively take action, make moves into the future. We can't just envision a goal, a dream, and just sit back and do nothing about it. Manifesting is allowing your higher self to grasp a goal, vision, and dream, to put it through the intellectual process of logic and practicality to come up with a plan, a strategy on how to bring said inspiration, said vision and dream to life. And then you actually have to work for it. You have to engage the physical body. Once your heart and head is in alignment with the goal, with the target, with the dream, with the vision, then you have to actually put work in. Mars isn't afraid of work. He's in Taurus energy. He's a workhorse if we were gift, giving him the opportunity to take action and make moves. Saturn, of course, is all about the structure, the foundation, the boundaries needed in order for us to actually build a strong enough foundation for us to be working off of that aligns us with our futuristic goals, visions, and dreams. But we have to have the inner spark, fire, and flame to keep us going. That's where Mars comes in. We have to be logical and practical with our approach to actually bringing forth a new foundation. That is where Saturn comes in. And when we kind of combine these two energies together, we understand that time, energy, effort, hard work, and consistency is definitely going to lead us to where it is that we want to be. Slow and steady wins the race. 
6.58 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have our last aspect of the day, and it just happens to be the moon in Cancer Energy coming up to, bumping into, teaming up with, conjuncting the sun in Cancer Energy. This is what gives us our new moon in Cancer. Again, the build up to this particular point is going to be intense. It's going to be a back and forth. It's going to be an up and down. We reach this new moon potency. There is a breakthrough of energies. We are going to feel the energy dissipate after this. And again, we are gifted with the remainder of the day to just sit in it, to just kind of swim through the ocean of emotion to see what it is that we're growing through, what it is that we're healing, what it is that we now want to do and pursue.